Assalamu alaikum. Today you guys are going to follow myself and Abu Bakr Dubai and Sharjah as we explore the various different massages and the reciters during this Ramadan season. We want inshallah ta'ala you guys to see which one is better. We're actually putting Dubai up against Sharjah to see which one provides the best Ramadan experience in terms of the masajid and the reciters. Now, me, I have my personal biases and inclinations towards Dubai. But as you can see at the end of the vlog, there was a big shock factor for me when I went to Sharjah. I was amazed. But anyways, I want to see what you guys found to be the most interesting, inshallah ta'ala, Dubai or Sharjah. So this is Masjid Hind. It is one of the best masajid here in Dubai. They bring reciters from all over the world. Literally every night is a, diff is a treat. There's a different reciter. Alhamdulillah, الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور ثم الذين كفروا بربهم يعدلون. I see I'm a little bit disappointed in myself today. I did something that I really shouldn't have done, uh, which is why I felt like I wasn't able to enjoy my salah as much. I had more than I should have had for iftar. It's worlds apart, man. Like, you know, when you don't fill your stomach and when you fill your stomach, it's a huge difference. This is the issue that I come to most often in Ramadan when I'm here. There's another two messages I come to very often as well, which I'm not going to tell you guys in case you put up on me. Because when you guys start turning up here, I'm going to disappear somewhere else, inshallah ta'ala. One of the things that we're going to show you is a bunch of different masajid and the benefits that the different masajid they have, inshallah ta'ala. Because a lot of people come here and they don't necessarily know, you know, what all these places are because a lot of the, like, the, the promotion for these type of masajid is in Arabic. We've got uh, Ra'ad al-Kurdi who is here in Khawanij. Oh wow, look at the moon. Can you see it? I'll try and get a close up later. Okay. But you can see our camera here. Yeah. Um, oh, we're also going to go to Sharjah. We're going to go, be going to uh, two massages in Sharjah, inshallah. Just so you guys can see. So you guys can experience Ramadan in Dubai, inshallah ta'ala. And Sharjah. So that again? And Sharjah. And Sharjah. There's a desk going on over there. Can they hear it? Or do you have to pick it up? Let's go check it. Let's go check it. Pull up to our local tea spot. And it's what? Almost 10 p.m. at night. There's a desk going on. Serious, all right? Because I'm saying so, so look, this ends, look at this, my ends, I didn't even know brothers here. Yeah. I just thought I lived in some, any ends, normal ends. This masjid right here, but we got one serious reciter, you know, a world famous type. So that's going on. Well, the vibe is nice, isn't it? Nice little Ramadan vibe. A nice little Ramadan vibe. Can I tell you who one of the best reciters in the UAE is? Undercover, unknown. He's the Imam of Bleep that, yeah? He's so unknown that people don't even know that that's a masjid. Okay, so the first reason we're doing Ramadan in Dubai is amazing is because of the reciters. Ramadan is the month of the Quran, and one of the places where we have a relationship with the Quran the most in Ramadan is in the Salah and the Taraweeh. So having a great reciter that you're praying behind. It really makes the world of a difference. And some people who come from the UK are like, oh, that's a bit short. But there's actually a be beautiful kind of benefit than having the salah not so long. And that's what the Prophet وسلم, said, anyone who starts with the Imam and he finishes with the Imam, he gets the reward as if he prayed the whole night. Like, how often are you in the UK able to do Isha, start with the Imam, and Witr, finish with the Imam the whole night regularly? So right now, we just prayed, Alhamdulillah, Salatul Fajr behind the one and only Ra'ad al-Kardi And that's one of the beautiful things about here in the UAE You don't know who's going to pull up, when they're going to pull up Who's going to be the reciter? And you find some of the best reciters in the world coming here and honestly, wallahi, it just makes Ramadan even better. Especially when you consider that even the base regular reciters are so good. May Allah make it easy for each and every single one of you to do hijrah and come here and enjoy Ramadan here, man. Yeah, that was a beautiful salah, alhamdulillah. But um, there's a link up of uh, a lot of people. <laughs> Me personally, I'm not really in public like that, man. I don't really like meet up with people and take pictures. So that kind of threw me off, man. I just came for salah and you have like 
a lot of faces and you know everyone's taking pictures one of people take pictures telling me take pictures I don't want to do any of that <laughs> guys you have to adapt to the Muslim um, Ramadan and Muslim country schedule so we came here for gym right after Jum'a but I said the gym only opens at 4pm you know what I was actually thinking to myself here yeah, that I don't know if it's a good idea to go to gym this early you know why because one of the reasons why you're not allowed to vomit you're not allowed to force yourself to vomit when you're fasting because it makes you weak so i was thinking i wonder if it would be more cruel to go to the gym this early on in the day now maybe going like just before star maybe that's the best that's the second best question second right yeah so and that's what it's supposed to be anyway it's just that they booked the podcast at this time so guys um we are gonna go do a righteous rich podcast inshallah which is gonna come out monday next week and um, this one's gonna be just me and abu bakr we're gonna speak some today inshallah ta'ala on the camera it's very relevant to Ramadan because we're looking at money from a spiritual perspective also Sheikh Khalid Ismail we're going to go pray in his masjid today Wallah al-ikhwa ya shabab haram khasar azimah but to show you guys the masjid and whatnot but he's not leaving today he's not leaving tomorrow either which means we're going to rain check remember I told you there was a secret masjid an exclusive masjid a hidden masjid with a recital that is today I'm going to take you there inshallah ta'ala yeah, also, there was, um, there's two brothers that I met in the masjid, mashallah, very nice brothers. Allah barik. Um, brother Tayyip, brother Carlos. And I invited them to uh, just sit in on the podcast recording. <laughs> and, um, we should remove the general discussion um, category. And I think if you just have really good engaging categories, it directs the conversation in a particular way. Um, and if you restrict the topics that people can post on, i.e. you remove any posts, that are not about a particular topic. Should we hit the message, yeah? Now we're gonna get very, very, very light iftar, and then we're gonna head to this exclusive undercover hidden masjid that many people don't know about, inshallah ta'ala. I actually still feel the remains of yesterday's iftar, that's how mad it is. <laughs> you know, I told you another story from Raphael, yeah? So he gives dawah in this village in, in this... Bro, it's literally like mountains there, by the way, yeah? Uh -huh. um, they are, uh, he was telling us other religions that they worship in this area. And there's a religion that they worship, in his opinion, in Raphael's opinion, he thinks... You know, I think in Islam, and correct me if I'm wrong, Akhi, but the, the prophets that we know of are the ones that we know of, but there were many more, right? Yes, sir. So he thinks... From his, what he's uh, uh, upon, upon what that, that prophet too. That there was a prophet that did go that area, uh -huh. um, and the description that the people of that village give you, and they say like we worship this person, for example. A man in a long thobe came to that area, yeah, with a beard, and he he preached the oneness of Allah. But people in that in that area now worship that man. They don't worship Allah. Oh, okay. They worship that man. I forgot his, the name of his. Of like that like religion. what they did with Isa alayhi salam. Basically, um, I forgot the name. I'll, 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 I've got yeah. it written down. The name of that religion. Yeah, because Allah said every people Allah sent them a yeah. prophet. Yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. So Alhamdulillah, we just had the quick little iftar, and now we're here at City Walk in this masjid, about to pray. Beautiful masjid, beautiful area, and uh, yeah, man, let's get inside read our sunnah and then they get ready for a tarawih insha'Allah. <laughs> City Walk Masjid to show you, you don't even have to go to one of those proper big, nice, exclusive masjids where they have the world class reciters, world famous reciters. Literally, any like any local masjid has a banging reciter. <laughs> Inshallah, but we'll see if we've got to go fin tomorrow. Um, charger now, innit? Give our bucket a chance, Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Sharjah. About to pray Maghrib here in Masjid al Nur. One of the best and most beautiful masajid, one of the best locations in Sharjah, Al Majaz. This is one of the places where, honestly, if you're looking for a nice place to live, you've got to come to Al Majaz. I'm telling you, there's a few other spaces. We're going to see them later on today. Uh, so, what? What's, what's something light that you want? Any Persian food? Any like Persian Lebanese food? 
There's one right next to the masjid, actually. Yeah, there is, yeah. Yeah? I don't know if it's Persian or Turkish, but it's that bland food that you like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, watch, 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 watch. Realize, it. One second. Keep no, no, one second. It. Keep I mean, it. Generally speaking, I'm not a fan of bland food. I don't. I like my spicy food, innit? So I'm into my. But but. Bland food that you like. No, no, no. But I can't lie. Uh, like Turkish Lebanese food, they add the sauces after. So it's like you can choose whether you want that flavor. For me, it's just I just need that flavor from the get. You get me? And I need those spices and those those seasonings. <laughs> Prayed, alhamdulillah, we left the masjid. Now we're going to go to another masjid. Uh, this is uh, masjid al uh, in the Zahia community. That cat. Did you well, see that? I went over it, but I didn't hear it. Yeah, you didn't hear it. Just, he was either sleeping on the middle of the road with cars getting past, which is very unlikely, <sighs> or it was dead. Oh, cats, man, I got sus from it. Ever since I found out though that the cats eat your face when you die, it made me look a little sad. That's weird. <laughs> but is that verified though? Okay. Anyway, so we just prayed, alhamdulillah. So that the Maghrib we open a fast with a, you know very basic but baraka filled. Dates. How many dates did you guys get? Five, isn't it? Five. I can't lie, I got six. Wow. I got I ten. Looking at, I, got I was looking ten. at everyone. Oh, so you, took, huh? you took two. No, in my box they had two packs. Oh, no, no. You, oh, no, no, oh, you, you got the box. Packs. Yeah, the packs, yeah. No, no, we right. didn't get the box. You got the packs because you're packy. We got the box because we've been got. <laughs> and you know what we got? Uh, we go to grab a quick little bite to eat and then go straight to the masjid and pray to Rawih. And he's one of my favorite reciters in, in, in Zahia, I can't lie. Look at this oh, car, by the way. Look. Look at this car, by the way. Look at that. When you indicate, it's like a Tesla. Bro, I don't know what it's like, but mm. bro, it's, like that. it's a That's jack. Crazy. That's very useful. I love it. So I'm saying, oh, look at the jack as well. It's a jack as well, bro. Wow. I think, bro, people bro, are this... sleeping on jack. Yeah, yeah, I can't lie. The jack. Chinese insane. car. It costs like ten thousand to twelve thousand, thirteen thousand pounds, brand new. And it's got all these features and technologies and digital driver's dash and sunroof and. You know, that's that's Nissan Sunny money. That's Nissan Sunny money. That's crazy. Sunny money. Really? Because the Nissan Sunny is nothing compared to That's what I'm saying, bro. The Nissan Sunny is dead That's what I'm saying, bro. It's got a pan roof. Can you get a table for four? Listen, could he pattern for us our African brothers there? Just generally, he can pattern anyone, international, anyone. No, but if he's. Everything except flights. But he must know the law in it for Africa. So we just prayed the Taraweeh in Al Zahi, alhamdulillah, and we decided to come to this bakery for some desserts, alhamdulillah. It's called Mamadou Konate Bakery. Mamadou. Oh, Mamadou. Mamadou. Huh? Mamadou. 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 Yeah. No, Mamadou, but without the. It's a name. Yeah. Mamadou. I, I think it means Muhammad. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure, but yeah, I think it means. Or like Mahmoud. Yeah, it's a name, it's a name. Yeah, so we're here at the Mamadou Konate Bakery, alhamdulillah. They've got some amazing desserts, fresh breads. Uh, we're about to try some, you know, can't lie, it's looking juicy. Some strawberry tarts. What did you get? Something with <laughs> vanilla, caramel and chocolate. Which It's just an amazing vibe. It's oh, a family run business, practicing couple, mashallah. They've got their kids, the kids are running around playing, doing the homework on the table inside. So what's the address that people are looking like, How can they find this location? Well, you just got to type in Mamadou Konate Bakery. Can, can you get it fully? Right opposite Al Zahia. So Al Zahia, that way. Yeah, yeah, in Sharjah. But 
It doesn't matter where you are. If you're in Dubai, you're in Ras Al Khaimah, you got to come here try this out, man. There's, there's, there's something in your brain that lets you know when you're going to sleep. Okay. Caffeine blocks adenosine. you. Adenosine. Adenosine, right? Is it adenosine, right? Or acetonin. No, no. It's, it so begins that's four with hours before. So basically... Adrenaline. Can, no, 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 no. <laughs> it can stay... In Melanin. <laughs> No, it's uh, a melatonin. Your skin. No, melanin. melanin. Makes your skin uh, darker. <laughs> no, it's not melanin. It is melanin. You added protein to the group chat. Melanin? Yeah. yeah. No. Bro, how do you argue? Melanin makes your skin darker. Six the, skin the, pigmentations. Yeah, it's, skin. Melanin. Is, it's called melanin? Melanin. Yeah, there's melanin and melatonin. Yeah. Listen, let us know in the comments. Is it melanin? melanin is it melatonin? Is it melanin? The more melanin, the dark skin you are. Okay, so I've got melanin in my skin. No, you're not dark skin, brother. No, I've got some. You've got some in it, it's not. Oh, okay. No, everyone has some sort of melanin in Yeah, I've got something, obviously. No, no, white people don't have melanin. They do. <laughs> they must have some level, bro. They, they have some, but they it's look, not like... Unless they all look like Casper. Who's Casper? The, the ghost. ghost. Bro, this is the funniest conversation. Right, anyway. Anyway, the bakery, Back yeah. to the vlog. The bakery. The I, 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 focus I on the bakery. He never knew what adrenochrome was. No, the point I was making was that I will not sleep. I will, I will not have coffee. Better, I will not have coffee 12 hours before sleeping. Because I saw a podcast by, what's his name? Andrew Huberman. He said it. We've got a separate floor for women, separate floor for men. No, no, no. Well fit. Well fit. A separate floor for men, separate floor for women. Yeah. We've got like all these shops and stuff, little. Mark, oh my, this is a no-brainer. Why did no one tell me about that? Maple, bro, bro, I was telling, telling you about it, bro. You're like, no. Me, I'm a fucking idea. And we're like, listen, listen, listen come show me, yeah? And you're like, no, no, I like the boy, bro. I like the boy. You know what's funny? My wife actually told me about it, bro. I met him right, like, I think, like a year ago, and this is the exact conversation we were having. And you were like, nah. You know what, I like Dubai, man. I like, like, it's, it's alright here. Yeah. So, I like, I like being there at the airport. That's what you said. I just need to know how I can get rid of it. Bro, they're so booked, they're gone. Out. And plus, you're looking at minimum. You're looking at one mil GBP. Okay, in I'm terms of rent, to... yeah, I think they're available to be honest. Oh, in rent, I... you're probably looking at about 180, 200. Yeah. So, guys, that was like 48 hours to Dubai and Sharjah. Let me know in the comments which one won. Which one do you feel provided the best Ramadan experience? Now, we're going to be carrying on showing you throughout Ramadan the experiences of Ramadan in Dubai and Sharjah in more detail and so much more. Inshallah ta'ala, if you benefit from this and you really enjoyed it and you felt like you learned and got some insight, click the subscribe button. The reason why the subscribe button is important is because it lets me and Abu Bakr know the type of content that you guys want to see. If the subscribe buttons are being clicked, then we know, okay, show you more of this. And by the way, it's never repetition. It's always going to be bigger and better every time. So click that subscribe button and I'll see you next week, same time for another vlog. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.